I am terrible at every hobby I've ever tried. With, with every hobby I have, I have an awful habit of going in very hard, very fast, and then burning out just as quickly when things get either remotely hard or boring. So when I started collecting Warhammer last year, it's no surprise that all I have to show for it is piles of grey plastic, gallons of unused paint, and a depressingly empty wallet. I'm sick of things always going this way. I'm sure I'm not the only one out there with this issue. So I've started this channel to get my ass in gear and get some of this shit actually done. There's nothing better than being encouraged by random strangers on the internet instead of actually just learning self-discipline. I think this is a good idea. So my plan for Warhammer, instead of just being crippled by analysis paralysis by looking at my pile of shame, I've set up this. This is a wheel with all my unfinished projects. Uh, yes, this is a lot for collecting Warhammer for just over a year. Disposable income and non-existent inhibitions are a terrible mix. What I'll do is I'll spin this wheel and wherever it lands on, I'll progress that model to the next stage of the process. It's either a model or a unit. And I'll talk about what I'm doing and why, etc, etc. Hopefully over the course of this channel, we'll see an improvement. And maybe at the end of it, I'll have a fully painted army that I can inevitably lose to Steve. I've laid out four stages to this process. Stage one is building. And yes, there are models on this list that I have not even built yet. There are models here I want to magnetize as well with different weapon options. So this will be part of the build process. And again, I'll talk about those if they come up. The second part is undercoating the models. Now, this is a small step and a fairly easy one but it's something that I think will help me get into the mindset of making those kind of gradual improvements. Maybe over time, this will change and I'll have a different pro process of the four stages, but this is what it is at the moment. Step three is going to be painting, and it's going to be painting to a battle-ready standard and likely with contrast paints, maybe a few other little paints here and there. Battle-ready is probably the standard that I can do with my crappy painting skills, and this will be the longest step. And finally, step four, aptly named finalizing. This will be getting the bases sorted if they're not already, cleaning up any mistakes, adding highlights or making some adjustments where things are needed, and adding transfers again if I can be bothered. Depends on the model or the unit for this, and there's not a lot at the moment in my collection, if anything, that's actually at this stage, but maybe we'll get to this one. Without further ado, let's spin the wheel. And full disclosure for these first spins, uh, I did intend these to be a live reaction, but unfortunately the audio didn't come out, so I'm doing this after the fact, but I didn't change the outcome because I'm not a coward most of the time. So the first spin landed on the Infernal Master. It's not a bad start. It's a model that I've had built for quite some time ever since the Hexfire box was released, which was coming up to a year, I think. I've played with it quite a lot as well. It's quite a nice unit, quite a nice HQ unit I'll use um, to buff up some flame rubrics and stuff. Just going to undercoat this one with a grey sear spray. I intend to use contrast paints. There is a tutorial I've seen from uh, channel War Hipster that I attempt to follow, but obviously it won't follow nearly as nicely because one I probably don't have all the paints and two very detailed and very tricky and I okay I am a coward for that one fortunately this is quite easy here it is before here it is with the grace here let's spin again my intention here is to spin as many times as I can fit into a video for undercoating I could probably fit a few here this time I came up with chaos spawn very simple again newer model for me I have used these once and they were okay but I don't think I used them right in the battle but here they are Here's me dropping one because I didn't actually attach it to my little cardboard stick thing properly. So they are broken one model already. That's uh, nice to see. Again, undercoat with this one in Grey Seer. Here they are afterwards. Very simple. And we'll spin again. And here we have landed on Reavers. And this is for my Drukari army, which I have had for a while. This is the first thing I started to collect, actually, when I started again. Having not played since maybe third or fourth edition, I had a look at the Drukari and man, did they have a glow up. I remember when they used to look like this back in third edition with the release box, but now, I mean, these models look incredible. So anyway, I have three of these undercoated already, but I have nine total. So my plan here is to undercoat the remaining six and then actually paint all nine. I have an idea for the scheme I want to go with with Drukari, so this shouldn't be too bad, but this is a good model to kind of start you know, actually getting some paint down rather than just having an entire video of just me undercoating stuff with grace here. Let's get these ones undercoated and then I'll get to painting them. Do you remember when I said I have nine Reavers? Well, I painted six of them. Yeah, I kind of got a bit bored. To be honest, it was weirdly, it was just putting the gold on. I got bored. So I'm going to limit in the future any kind of unit that comes up, I'm going to limit to five models. I think five is a good number. I've done six here because I've got a list uh, that I'll discuss at some point, which uses six Reavers. And this is the scheme I've come up with. This was the first one I did over here. As you can kind of see, I mean, it's... Yeah. The edge highlights are very rough on this one. They came out okay on the side. And also this one I used a slightly different color to start with. You can kind of see some like pink a little bit. The underside's not too bad. I like this dark uh, with the gold here. Black and gold. 
But yeah, so that was the first one I did, but I did improve over time. This probably took about... But well, this is going to be the problem here. Probably took about 10 to 12 hours to do just these six models. I've only done one rider. So what the five riders left to do, but they're a pretty small part of the process. And the reason it took me so long is... Hello. One... At least I had some time off work, which is why I'm kind of starting this now. It's going to be more difficult to do some of this stuff while I'm also having my full-time job, but you know, we'll work around that. The reason it took so long is, is one, I was doing a lot of experiments to actually try and get the, the scheme down, and two, it's just my general cack -handedness. This is the one that I kind of fully completed. It has actually got a magnetized gun on it as well. But as you can see, I, I'm fairly happy with this, actually, to be honest, and especially kind of for a amateur like me there are still some bits which i would like to clean up like there's some really bad highlighting there and the gold is kind of just gold at the moment there's no real other things on it so this is what my drukari scheme is overall on other models as well this is a leviathan purple contrast paint for the body here it's a black legion templar that's not the right one that's shaish purple i have too many colors my god which one is it Send help. Black something. Uh, for the undercoat, and then just it's the retributor gold, retributor armor for the gold bits. On the helm as well. If this thing ever wants to bloody focus. That's just kind of silver. But at the tip of the gun, I tried to do some like heat stuff because this is a heat lance, but it kind of just came out a bit weird. Apologies for the camera. As you can tell, this is a very professional environment. Yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with the scheme. It's quite a dark scheme overall, but I think it does look kind of cool, especially with this kind of light edge highlight here. I think that does look quite quite nice with the dark purple with some of the variant variations. These three here, as you can kind of see, I have got the base coats on for some of the colours, but the gold is still to be done. Probably going to leave those for if Reavers come up again, because like I say, five models is really the limit. I did six here because I had a list with six. But yeah, so that's the reaver's done and this was quite fun to be honest i did enjoy I, this is the problem with i have with pop hobbies and it's probably one that i think people can relate to i enjoy doing this stuff it's just i'm very i'm a very momentum based person if i lose momentum on a on a project or on a hobby i will not go back to it which is why i kind of want to do these videos in fact video editing in general is one that i like doing if i fall out of favor with it then i will just stop doing it for a while so I'm glad that these came out okay. Obviously, this one here definitely is kind of the odd one out of the bunch. This one here looks a little bit different because I did, I think I tried some dry brushing with this one to start with, so it looks a little rough. But yeah, improved as it went on, like this one and this one, both look quite, quite nice. I think this one I tried some stuff on the gold as well, so you can kind of see some like scuffs on it, and I tried to do something with the engine at the back. I'll probably save that for the aforementioned in you know touching up phase finalizing phase again cleaning up stuff like this gold here and probably on here as well but yeah so that's the reavers i'd say battle ready i'd say i'd be happy to put these on a table i mean it's better than gray so at least that's part of my projects done let's go back to the wheel and spin again here we are back at the wheel and this time i'm recording it live properly the audio hopefully won't break this time i've also added some extra stuff here so for Units where I have multiples of five, so for example, Scarab Occult Terminators, I have a lot of, because it's Thousand Suns and you kind of have to. I've added the multiples into this wheel, so there's multiple different Scarab Occult Terminators, Rubric Marines are in there, Cabalites, that kind of stuff. This just allows me to get through some of the things I have a lot of more quickly. Also added some things here, you might notice the wildcard one, so Chaos Knights. There's a few extra boxes like this where I bought big boxes that I've done nothing with. I don't want to fully commit to them because I want to actually get my main army sorted. So some of these will be there just for, you know, shits and giggles. If they come up, then that's going to be fun. But anyway, let's spin this wheel and see what we have to do next. Oh, for fuck. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below about what you're working on, whether it's Warhammer and go through your own pile of shame, a skill you'd like to learn, or any hobby that you've, like me, spent an exorbitant amount of money on and really should probably get back into and not waste that money. I intend to make videos probably once a month, maybe more often if I get some time, but once a month I think is a good target here. 
but I'm also interested to hear what you're doing. Whatever hobby you are pursuing, I think this is a good way to try and have some accountability between both me and, and you as, as the comments. Something I do struggle with a lot, as I mentioned, is that self-discipline. You know, I'm quite good at doing stuff if I have someone there to basically make me do it, if you see what I mean. So, you know, throwing it out there, I'm sure other people like me who may either suffer from ADHD like me or have just, you know, issues getting around to hobbies, whatever that may be. Again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more of this. Leave your comments down below and I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching.